What is that? Ammonia. That shit'll wake you right up. What do you hit me with? <laughs> His head. Here's <laughs> a penitentiary, son. That rip ain't gonna do shit but count somebody out, which means you got to knock that cracker on his ass, yeah? Now you got one round. Knock the fucker on his ass! Knock the fucker on his ass. Congratulations on your victory, boy. You look real good out there. We're really fucking impressed. Welcome to the real world, baby! <laughs> Nighty night, bitch. I don't want to die in prison. Easy, easy now, son. Don't try to talk. Just take it easy now. You're lucky they left you breathing. I wasn't always this lucky. Cuban is no amateur. He could have turned pro years ago. He's been the amateur champ for nine years. Nine years! Are you gonna let him make it ten? That's right. That's why we're here. To get the gold medal. Now go get him, kid! So here we go with round number one. Andre Bishop really attempting to climb a mountain that nobody's been able to scale so far here in the World Amateur Games over the course of nearly a decade. The fine Cuban, Joel Savone, nine straight years as the gold medalist in these World Amateur Games. He got hit right there, but he also gave one. Solid effort by Andre Bishop. Halfway through round number one. Good defense. Oh, Bishop got battered right there. Bishop was absolutely battered right there. 
and yet another big shot comes in. Andre Bishop rocked by that power punch. Bishop is down. Bishop's back up on his feet. Now, what will be interesting to see here is how he reacts in the next few moments. Protecting his head well with his guard. That's a good job by Bishop offensively. Landing his... Oh, and there you go. Well, we know he survived earlier, but now he goes down for a second time. I had to think Bishop had some chance. All right. And there's the opening bell. Round number one, scheduled for four. This one is expected to be a thriller. Teddy, most ringside experts feel that this is very much going to be a tactical fight. Yeah, both these guys throw punches. Big shot. Oh, that got him. That wrecked him right there. He's down for the first time. Bishop beats the count, but how does he look to you? He looks like a guy who's wondering what happened, and that's where the job of the corner comes in when he gets back to the corner. Tell him why he got hit. Joel Savone's done a good job there offensively scoring with that left hand. Hey, you gotta see that coming. Let's go. Many may believe that in a matchup like this, power puncher versus power that puncher, up. that he who has more power wins. But in a way, is it as simple as saying he who has more fundamentals wins? Yes, absolutely. He who has a missile to get that bomb to the target, he's going to win. Get out of the way from the punches. Move your head. I think Bishop scored really well there. He just damaged his opponent with that power shot upstairs. Bishop's trying to keep momentum here. He scored a knockdown earlier in this round, but Teddy, he may be looking for a bigger prize. Yeah, well, if he wants to get that bigger prize, then I guess what you're saying is a knockout, is he has to understand what his opponent is thinking right now. He's thinking about surviving. That means he's going to move his head. So go downstairs to the body where you take some of that movement away. The other day when we were talking to Andre Bishop, he said to have success in this fight, I have to land combinations. He landed a good one there. Ten seconds remaining in this round. Wow, look at that. Trading shots. Okay. Teddy, I'll tell you what I like out of that round from Andre Bishop. It's a building block. He has a lot to look forward to the rest of this fight now. Yeah, it's confidence. It gives him a little momentum. And it also shows you his amateur background. I mean, he showed you that he can do things inside and outside. Hundreds of amateur fights will teach you that. I don't think it's a stretch to say that Andre Bishop actually has a strong lead against Joel Savone. He gets to him with an uppercut. Big, big shot comes crashing home. What a turn of events. What a turnaround. He scores his own knockdown after being knocked down earlier. And that's where scoring a knockdown hurts you sometimes because now you think he's just going to walk in and get it again. Well, he walked in. He did get it. He got it. And another jab. Not much action as he just ties up. He comes with a straight right hand. Able to get rid of that one. On the mark with the straight left hand. Right to the head with that right. Joel Savone's lack of defense, especially when it comes with just getting away from that right hand, is really costing him a lot. Here. Well, it's pretty simple. The old timers would say, move your head, otherwise your opponent will move it for you. Carissi's known for really pushing Andre Bishop very hard during and bang and away he goes can he get up from this he's done it before but can he get up from a second time down Three, four, five. 
Let's see if Andre Bishop gets after his opponent in a weakened state right here. He doesn't look clear-headed. I think Andre's going to get right after him. And now we got a fight. He fires back a right hand of his own. And now another left. Good shot to the head with that right hand. And we come to the end of round number two. Good flush, straight left hand. I think Joel Savone may be as shocked as the rest of us. Andre Bishop is scoring often. Savone's right hand did a nice job that time. That worked well for him. Good block. 90 seconds to go here in this round. Lands flush with the two-punch combo by Andre Bishop. A little something for his opponent after getting tagged. Andre Bishop's fighting a completely different fight right now. He went down earlier, and you can see that he's just throwing that strategy, that original game plan, right in the garbage. Well, it's showing you that he's a thinking man's fighter. He had to make an adjustment. You know, he would have had no chance to survive and to later win this fight if he stayed with the same plan. He had to come up with a little bit of a change. And that's exactly what he's done. A very crisp combination by Hunt. Let's see if Bishop can survive this. He just took a big shot. Wow! Well, he's been there before, and now he's there again. He got floored. He can't afford to keep going on that floor. You have to wonder when the referee's going to step in now and stop this. And the dream for Andre Bishop becomes a nightmare. When you get a fight like this that everybody's been talking about, it's always so interesting to see these opening moments here in round number one. Teddy with a power puncher against a high stamina fighter, a guy that can take you into the deeper rounds. How much is it a disadvantage where it sort of takes away what maybe he's best at? Well, it's a disadvantage mentally because if his power doesn't work and the high endurance guy is still there, he may start to dissipate. He may start evaporating right in front of you. And he returns on that exchange. Targeting upstairs. Look at this. Another power punch able to land. We're early on in this fight. He's going for it. Yeah, you wonder if he's got a call waiting outside. Good clean shot. Returning fire. Well done by Andre Bishop. And you see what he can do when he sends that right to the head. a good job by Bishop offensively. Landing his combinations is a key to victory tonight. Oh, that's gotta hurt. A non-stop swarming attack puts him down. One, His opponent two, feels like he's three, in a rainstorm. Savone's so gonna keep taking this test, rising up after being knocked down. Plus shot, the left hand came in. Joel Savone now just showing good, steady, solid work landing that jab. For the second time tonight, he goes down. Two, three, four, five, big drama, big finish for Andre Bishop. Taking the gold medal at these World Amateur Games with a spectacular knockout of the Cuban, Joel Savone. Andre, how does it feel to be named fighter of the games? It's terrific, honestly. Being voted fighter of yeah, the games, baby. it's an honor. <laughs> Gold medal, baby. Yes. Uh, this is my baby brother, my big baby brother, Ray. Hey, big baby bishop. I'm a fighter, too, and one day I'm going to be right where he is now. <laughs> 
Like I was saying, it's a lot of talented boxers out here, and it's an honor hey, to just be in. Hey, Bishop Brothers are in the house. Big baby Bishop, what? It was a fabulous tournament. Truly exciting to watch. But even more exciting, McQueen Promotions is pleased to announce that we've just added Isaac Frost to our roster of boxing talent. Isaac, are you disappointed that Andre Bishop won fighter of the games? Disappointed? <laughs> I'm the heavyweight gold medalist. No one went the distance with me. Nobody here could ever go the distance with me. I am the best fighter at these games, period. Andre Bishop is a talented middleweight, but I, I think uh, Isaac makes a good point. Regardless, both these young men could have very bright futures in professional boxing. kid you got your father's power he certainly does his father hit like a heavyweight too <laughs> Gus <laughs> despite our differences I've always said you're one of the best trainers in the business I don't care what you say about me Queen <laughs> always nice to see you Megan always nice to see you too Gus I'm bringing my daughter into the business you know how good she is with fighters I want her to manage Andre. You're a great trainer. Why not concentrate on what you do best and let Megan and I concentrate on Andre's career? Thanks, but I think I can handle it. Isaac Frost will be fighting for a title within two years. I can do that for you, too. Thanks, but I can handle it. Did this old man ever get your father a title shot? He was on his way! The only way to the title is through me! Not if nobody can beat me. Oh, you think so? You don't know who you're fucking with. Dad! You've been listening to this stupid old man! Dad! You don't know who you're fucking with! I apologize. No, you have no reason to apologize. But your father, on the other hand, he chews fighters up and he spits them out. Gus, if we just... Megan, you're a good egg. But no way are we getting in bed with D.L. McQueen. I respect your decision. Lucius Palmer likes to run, but he'll get aggressive at the end of each round. He's good at stealing fights. Good luck, Andre. Thanks, Megan. She's right about Palmer. She's a smart girl, that Megan. 